Well, how are time friends? How y'all doing? Mom said, that's hot. I hope it is. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll just take it out. Y'all come on in, get you the seat. We're getting ready to cook up some chili for tomorrow. Just a little bit of chili. A little hot, hot dog hot. chili. Ain't it good, Mama? Oh, yeah. Hot diggity dog chili. Now, Mama, mm -hmm. have we got coffee to put this in here? Oh, did you empty the container? Uh, I don't know. Check it and say we got to have coffee. Because that's the key ingredient to some good chili. The good start of it is some brewed coffee. Doesn't have to be freshly brewed. Just brewed. And then by the first time, it could be what you have left this morning. Can't be no two days. Left in here okay, that's things. what I was thinking. Michelle, I do think I left you some. Um, so we've got our chuck here. And Mama, you want to go ahead and we'll put a little coffee in here. I'm going to show y'all as we're going. So this is just an empty kettle. So we're going to put a little coffee. And this is, I'm not measuring. Uh, and you can see it's still hot. We got a half a, is it a pound? No, it's got a half a pound. We just had a little so that's about eight ounces of coffee, but you put a whole cup if you want to. You can do 16 ounces if you want to, but that's just coffee that was brewed up. I'm gonna turn this burner here on the mama. I'm gonna turn this big enough. We don't need him, do you? I don't think so. So this is the, just coffee that I brewed this, well, at 12 -ish. And that's what was left. So you just put your hamburger in there and I'm cutting up, dicing up some onion. I'm gonna make them real little because we don't like big chunks of onion. In our chili, I like them on the hot dog, but not in the chili. Ain't that weird? You get so picky about stuff. And you think, well, I don't know why, but I just like to just barely have a hint of onion in there, but I want it to be uh, chopped small. Give it a good flavor. Yeah. But yet it's not so chunky, is it? Now, in... We don't worry about it being as finely chopped in um, if we're making bowl chili, do we, Mama? Our bowl chili and our hot dog chili are two different things. Uh, I'm gonna read you off, and Nola has already posted yesterday, I believe, or last night, the recipes uh, for our both of our chilies. Maybe three chilies. I think there's a mama chili too, or something that we had. It's the coffee smelling good here. It's delicious. Will this make my chili taste like coffee, John? Mom? No, it don't taste like coffee. It don't. It does not taste like coffee. You're gonna be surprised. But it tenderizes, it's the acid in the coffee that tenderizes that meat even more. It helps break it down. Makes it all so. Look how well it's mm -hmm. blended in. See, uh, we, we start out with coffee with most beef products and pork products, like ribs in the crock pot. So me and Mama was just talking before we came on. We're wanting to do some things that you all want to see us do. So if you would put in the comments, what's something maybe we've done before, maybe we've never done before, and you think, I'd like to see that. Do you all want to see more crock pot dishes? You all want to see more casseroles? You know, a lot of times we get stuck. Now this is about how much onion I'm going to put in here. It's about a good tablespoon and a half yeah. in this amount. Uh, what would y'all like to see? Because we get, sometimes, we feel like we've cooked everything that we can cook, and and we think, what would they like to see? So we want to hear from y'all. Meatloaf, uh, Lynn, I was just saying, we fixed a lot of meatloaf, but if you want to see some more meatloaf, we'll be happy to fix more meatloaf. Um, hi, from the UK, it's, to a hymn. Oh my goodness. You're already in the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Sue, happy 4th of July to you. You're already there, aren't you? 2 a.m. 2 a.m., my goodness. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Canada had theirs on the 1st. I think it's a very similar Canada Day. Very similar to our 4th of July. It's the day they become a, a country. What is it? I'm laying the spoon. Oh, I thought you were telling me to do something. No, I'm not. Now, this onion I'm chopping up is to go on the hot dogs. Now, I ain't going to promise we ain't going to eat one tonight. Um, 
But that ain't the point of fixing it tonight. We're fixing it for tomorrow because once it sets overnight, it's going to be even better. Even better. Absolutely deliciousness. So I'm just going to chop these up to put on top of our chili dog, hot dog. You said we're going to have plain old. We're having plain old easy does it for of July. Not that we couldn't eat that whole bunch of stuff, and I don't want a tub of potato salad left, tub of macaroni salad. If we make some things, we're just going to make a small amount because we're really not expecting any company. Our family that uh, usually comes over 4th of July, they had other things come up, and they couldn't be here. We was going to have more of a bigger spread, but it's just been me and Mama, and you all know how we are on leftovers. If we can upscale them to something new, we'll eat them better than we will just eat the same thing two days in a row. Like leftovers, but I'm not ever being... I've never been one that says, you know, oh, I can eat that for a week unless it's tomatoes and scrambled eggs and toast. I can eat that for a long time. Not warmed over. Not warmed over. Mm -hmm. Freshly made every morning. But as far as leftovers go, even meatloaf, sometimes I like to amp it up and use it for something else. And speaking of meatloaf, I know y'all have heard me say this before, but you can put meatloaf, you can make uh, meatloaf into chili. Uh, people, you can do more to meatloaf than just a cold meatloaf sandwich. So if you have a lot of meatloaf, you think, oh, I've got gobs of meatloaf. Maybe your company going to show up or there's a change of plans. You think, I've got over a half a meatloaf in there and I've done had leftovers and I've done had sandwiches. Chunk that up in a chili, you'll never taste that it. it was ever a meatloaf. Will you, Mama? No, and, but ain't nothing no better meatloaf sandwich. That's true, but you know, I'm eating by them. One day, I'm just plenty. <laughs> you sure do look pretty, Mama. Okay. You look like 4th of July today. Well, On the 3rd of July. I'm kind of in, uh, I don't think, well, I'm red, white, and blue. There's some blue in there. Look yeah. at that stripe. That's blue. Burgundy. Yeah, it's not exactly red. Mine's, Mine's old, though. Yours is authentic red, white, and blue. Yeah. I'm going to read the recipe to you. Y'all ready? So here we go. Oh, ready, Freddy. This is our hot dog chili. So it's um, hamburger or ground chuck, 80 20, and you boil it in coffee. And that's what we're in the process of doing right here. Onion, finely chopped. Now, I'm not giving you amounts on these because you can make this into a gallon or you can make it into a small kettle for two. You just vary your amounts. Uh, you can see what we're doing for a small amount. If I was going to do a bigger uh, pot of this, say I was going to do uh, two pounds of hamburger, I would have used a medium yellow onion, chopped it up and put it in there real fine. Tomato paste. And this will be, I'm going to put about a tablespoon in this. So if I was going to do a big one, I'd put three tablespoons. Greek seasoning. Now, some of y'all don't like the Greek seasoning. That's what you asked me to hand down, and I forgot to get it. I I, it was yeah, I said we do have some up there, don't we? I think so. Um, Greek seasoning, beef bouillon cubes. Now, you're going to add that in. That's just going to amp that flavor of the beef. You can use better than bouillon or you can use beef bouillon cubes. We'll be using beef bouillon cubes in a little bit of water, not much. Salt and pepper to taste, uh, some lemon pepper to taste, onion powder and garlic powder, or we use y'all's Southern Secret. And um, minced garlic and chili powder, your favorite chili powder. I think it's the right one. Yes, this is the Greek that we use, probably the Greek everybody uses. Uh, some people have said, oh, John, that's got something in it. MSG. MSGs, it probably does. Um, but we've used this my whole life. And uh, we don't use it often. It's one of those rare occasions. So minced garlic and chili powder. And tonight, what kind of chili powder? Mexines, that's our go-to for hot dog chili, huh? It's, oops, oops a daisy. it's in there, and then there's another one in there. We've got another spice cabinet in the back, in the back room that we use for our overflow, for like our storage, storage spices. We're going to be using garlic 
tonight. <laughs> Let me see if I can find you some mixed scene. I put it low always because that's your go to. I know it and I can't find it. My house. Well, you know, a spice cabinet. I firmly believe that somebody comes in in the night and moves your spice cabinets around because there's no way that we let it get that far gone. Mama? Is it right there? Where? No. Uh -uh. Sorry. It's not over there in that big quantity cabinet. You'll have to go in there on the back shelf and get you some out of storage. But now I know we had mixed things. Sorry folks, I ain't left I believe we have. I believe for sure we've left them. Mama, you'll have to go over and sign your bags. Um, this is, you know, prep. That's what this is called. It's not getting set up already. <laughs> go, um, go in there in the spare cabinet, I believe Mama would be where it will be, because we might have used it. Do we have it sitting sure, over here? Right it. Have we used it? can't remember from one minute to the next. Have we used it? So, let's go over our recipe before we are. So we've got the chuck and we've got it boiling in the coffee. We've got the onions in there. Tomato paste and Greek seasoning. And I'm just going to do dash dashes. Y'all know. Here we go. So I'm just going to put a good dash dash of Greek seasoning. That brings out that flavor gonna do uh, salt and pepper to taste so I'm just gonna do a little shake shake of salt and I'm gonna ground us up a little black pepper ground 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 this is that tricolor corns we love them and that's gonna be enough black pepper and uh, let's see here um, Y'all, Southern Secret. I'm going to do a dash dash of that. This is substituting, um, this actually will substitute our lemon pepper, our onion powder, and our um, garlic powder will all be substituted with y'all's because this has got all those profiles in there. And then this is just good old fashioned garlic. And garlic is what you get in a jar minced garlic. I know we have some mixing chili powder because I buy it in sets of three because they come in those little combo deals in, on Amazon in case you've ever went to Amazon to check it out. Oh, I think we've used it. All of them? Uh, what about your beef bouillon? I can't reach it up here. Is it up there? Okay. Y'all, here, you just watch this pot. Watch that pot right there. Uh, <laughs> we on a spice run. How did we get on the spice run, Mama? I don't know. How we okay. Got it has got to be right here, okay. right close. Next scene. Next thing's navy blue. Right. Mama, you see? Right there it is, the third one down. Oh, yes. See, that right there is the problem. That's the problem, y'all. This was put back where it was supposed to be. <laughs> now, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Mama's got clips on the side of the cabinet. And it was stuck up there in where it's supposed to be. This is what we're using, mixing chili powder. It's always sitting in the bottom where it ain't supposed to be. Hmm. So we're gonna put a good tablespoon. <laughs> Some of you said, no, oh, that's, that's too much. I'm gonna put a good tablespoon of mixing chili powder. I hope you're not counting it as a tablespoon. <laughs> I just realized that when I stuck it up there. I put a good tablespoon mixing chili powder. 
Now, you're talking about your... Oh, smell the goodness. Smell the goodness. Well, I've got down cinnamon sticks instead of bullion. Oh, I was wondering what you got. What is the bullion? We ran out of bullion. Our good Amish bullion. And I bought some in a pack. Do you know what I haven't did, Mom? Mm -hmm. It should be up in the top of there, baby. With the other? What color is it? I don't know that. I told you. This is what I was wanting. I mean. What you thought you had. What I thought I was wanting. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells good. perfect. Chili powders and all that. You know, I am at a loss on this bullion because I cannot remember what pack it was in. This is the Amish, but this is chicken. You don't have no beef. I went to those stores and I could not. I know I bought beef. Bullion. I know I bought it. He's on the scavenge hunt. Sing, Mama, sing. Sing, I can't sing. If I could sing, I could sing, sing up a storm. So hurdy. I'd sing up a storm. Okay, can... we're going to do better tomorrow. We'll get everything together. <laughs> do you believe that, that we're going to do better? <laughs> no. <laughs> we're going to try. <laughs> Huh, I bought that not long ago. The bullion. It's right here under that cinnamon in the box. Ah, oh, Mom. You are the best one. Mm -hmm. You found it. Yeah. It wasn't where it was supposed to be. I went sure it was. <laughs> so that's not... It wasn't in a packet, it was in this. This is nor. We've looked and looked for Amish. Mama was in the Amish country last week. That's the only thing I really asked for. Mama, this is a huge one. Mm -hmm. That's big. And I can't use all that in there. I'll cut it in half. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. So cut right down here. Look at this. So nice. this, look at this. That's the biggest bullion cube I've ever seen. I hope I didn't put bullion in my coffee. That's going to be a new experience. Not beef bullion. I'm going to cut it in half. So one beef bullion going right in here. It's soft. It's kind of like the Amish bullion. And I'm just going to put it in there. There's enough liquid in there for it. Okay. And I'm going to wrap this one back up. And the way it's not, well, not. Okay, Mom, there it is. Mm -hmm. Bullion, and that's all the ingredients. We did good. Now, the next key is cook it down, folks. Let it cook down. Yeah. Let it get it's to chilly down. consistency. You want it to hold on a bun. You want it to hold on to um, no. your hot dog. But it will be good, and you, you can... You can get it there, and if you have some grease left in it, you can put a little bit of flour in it, stir it in, you'll never know. You can put um, instant potatoes or something in it. You can put something to absorb that grease um, is what you're looking for. And that's, you see there? You can drain that grease off, but to get it to hold on there, you can put a little bit more of... Um, something in it, just a thickening, just a thickening agent. It'll get all those flavors time. If you put flour in it, cook it for at least two minutes after you put the flour. Mm -hmm. And that'll just thicken it up a little bit. You can even put mashed potatoes as you can already got in your refrigerator. Now, I'm gonna put a little tomato paste. A <laughs> this is a tablespoon. I'm really going to put a big old God. tablespoon because I want almost 
I probably could open a can, but I'm gonna put, I want a lot of richness in there. That's one of the keys to good hot dog chili is that rich tomato flavor. And I might even have to add a little bit more. Smell it's probably the smallest amount of hot dog chili we've ever made. I think it is. It's, I'm just thinking that it's doing this. It's Mama and I both are used to cooking big, big amounts. Happy 4th of July, Sue. How are you? Meatloaf. Lord, I'm back to meatloaf. Let's see. I have froze y'all up. Now I've scanned you off. You can absorb the grease with two slices of white bread. Yes, you can, Kelly. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to cook it down first because it's got, still got coffee in it. It shouldn't have a lot of grease. It no. Sure. It's extra lean, she said. See, it's coming down. But that's the point. You want to boil it down. That, it smells so good, folks. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, Mama has been making this recipe for many years. And we still have one recipe, and I know you're going to think, you're letting that cook down, and then you're going to turn around, and you're going to add your secret recipe, your secret ingredient. So, we've not even added the secret ingredient yet. Y'all know what it is. What's that? Huh? What's that? Your favorite secret ingredient, Mama. Oh. But we're not going to be able to add what we normally add. We're just going to be able to put a little, a little bit in it. I have not thought nothing going there. Y'all know what the secret ingredient is? Y'all be guessing. Oh, that sounds so good. I'll go get the secret ingredient, Mama. You... Keep I don't walk out there. I need to walk anyway. Mama, you stay here and tell me I'm going to run her out there. It's just in the next room. It ain't like we're taking the exercise class. <laughs> that was cold. I'll be on my use of me. No, you just didn't want to be left in here That's with right. the camp. The tell them. Tell them, Mama. I don't like to be left alone because I don't know what to say a lot of times. He puts me on the spot and I don't like that. And he's, he's like that sometimes. We've got this plain, simple stuff tomorrow going back to the addition. Anybody guess the secret ingredient? My favorite. Ranch season. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Sue, that's a good guess. Donna says, Dr. Pepper. You know, I like this. Is their hot dog chili sauce. Thank you, Nola. Here is the secret ingredient. But you know what, Donna? I'd be willing to switch to your secret ingredient. Look at that. Coca-Cola is our secret ingredient. Get some of this grease off. We drain a little bit of the grease off. We stick a pepper towel on top of it. You'd be surprised how much grease that'll bring off. Another thing about fixing it today and having it tomorrow, and this is a good thing to remember for your guests. If you fix it the day ahead, if you put it in your refrigerator, you pull all that grease off where you reheat it. That's helpful too. Plus, chilling it overnight will make it thicker for tomorrow's hot dogs. So all that plays in there. Don't get concerned tomorrow when it's real thick. And you think, oh, I better add, don't add no liquid. Put it in your pan, let it get, let it get hot, and it'll be just the right consistency. Coke, Martha, you guessed it right. Cheese, nope, not cheese. Ah, happy fortune lunch on it. Well, happy Becky, happy fortune to you. I was going to say Coke. You would have been correct, Bernadine. You would have been correct. Would like your recipe, Carolyn? Okay, I'm going to read it to you. Um, so here it is. Hot dog chip. Noah's also posting it, so you'll have it posted in here as well. So we use hamburger or chuck, the 80-20. You boil it in coffee. And when I say boil it, you let that come to a good boil. And you chop it up with a good chopper. You want it real fine for hot dog chili. 
Let it cook a minute. You might get some more. So, um, and you use how much you want. Tonight we used, was that a pound? No, this is like a half a half pound. Half a pound. Because we used it for, uh, I forgot, hamburgers or something. Hamburgers. Fine. So this was a half a pound. That's not much. It's a little tiny bit. But for two people, that's enough. But if you're going to make a pound or two or five, you can use the same recipe, just adjust your quantities. So I used a good tablespoon, two tablespoons, tablespoon and a half of finely chopped onion. If I were going to do a pound, I would have used two or three tablespoons or a medium chopped onion. Tomato paste, I used a good heaping tablespoon in this amount. So if I was going to do I would use probably a can of tomato paste if I used any more than this. Greek seasoning, I used a dash dash. If I were going to be making a pound or two, I'd probably use a half a teaspoon. Beef bouillon cubes, I used, well, I used a half of this big one. But just the regular square ones, I would put one in here. But if I was going to make a pound or two, I'd put two or three. Just that beef flavor. Salt and pepper to taste and lemon pepper to taste. But if you're using you all Southern Secret, this will take the place of the lemon pepper, the, the uh, onion powder, and the garlic powder. Minced garlic, I would put a good, in this I probably put a uh, half a teaspoon. If I was doing a bigger, I'd probably put a half a tablespoon. Chili powder, we used mixing when we finally found it because it was where it was supposed to be, hanging on the side of the cabinet, and we weren't looking at it. Uh, I used a good tablespoon. I would probably use two tablespoons, maybe a little more if it was a pound or two. And Coke, I'm going to add this Coke in there, and I'm just going to add a little bit for a half a pound. But for if I was going to do two pounds, I'd use this whole bottle at the end. And it foams up, but it gives it a... a slightly sweet flavor, not over sweet. It's not going to make your chili, ugh. It's not like putting sugar in it. It's just a little flavor profile. We've done that for years. We've, this has been our recipe for, I don't know how many years. Mama, can you remember when we started doing this one? No, I'm sure can't. We've made it for churches. We've sold it. We've done, we've made it we used to, we've made it by the 10 pounds. Uh, we used to, two or three people at church would bring 10 pounds of chili. 10 pounds of hamburger meat, 10 pounds of chili, and we would sell it for fundraisers and different stuff. And uh, so we used to make 10 pounds the same recipe. Show it to them, Mama. Okay. Now that's what you want it to look like. Wonderful hot dog chili. Now, when it gets looking like that, in comes the secret ingredient. I just say secret because it makes it sound good, but it ain't no secret. We'll tell everybody. <laughs> and, that'll and that'll be about what I'm using in this amount. And you let it boil again. Let it boil down again. And then we'll be good. And then... It's time to eat or store till tomorrow. Now tomorrow we'll probably mix up some macaroni salad and maybe, maybe some coleslaw. Ooh. Because we like coleslaw with our hot dogs, do you? I don't normally put it on it, but I like to have it there as an option. Sometimes I'll put it on it. So probably some macaroni salad and coleslaw tomorrow, Mama. If you want to. Or Anything else? I might make one can of those things. One can, too. Ooh. I love those This things. thing just turned into a party, folks. Right. We'll have 4th of July fireworks tomorrow night. We've done it. Mama's been working on um, watermelon. What'd you do? Did you have cantaloupe left? Yeah, I mean, yeah, watermelon cantaloupe. Is out there. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we've got ice cream in there. I didn't make homemade. We didn't make homemade this year. You remember that? When we made it in the house here, Ooh, that was loud. It was loud. <laughs> but it wasn't that loud here. But it was loud on this video. Just us, we decided just. So and we so. don't need it. We're trying to cut back on sugars. I know sometimes you just wonder why. Why are you just cutting back? 
We really are cutting back a little bit, ain't we, Mama? I cut back several amounts on some of my stuff. <laughs> Better than I used and to. And I cut way back on sugar, too. Yeah. Just because. You never know. was a big sugar. You never was a big sugar consumer, but. I am. If I can eat less, that's even better. I'm real bad for sugar. Mm. Really and truly, if I have coffee, a lot of times I will claim that I want coffee with my dessert, but really I'm just wanting the coffee. You don't even have to have dessert. You just drink coffee with coffee. I can be starved to death. Star plum to death. Give me a big old cup of coffee. And I can make it till we eat the next meal. Uh, let's see, what are y'all saying? Hey, started out with hey. Was that a hey mama? Hey, John and Mama, glad I caught you live. Happy 4th. Hey, Amy Hill, glad you caught us too. Happy 4th. Thank you, Nola, Kim said. Oh, Northeast Tennessee. Sweet. Where do we live? Northeast Tennessee. Angelica. Now, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view. We're going to do a flyover. Are you ready? Be careful with the flyover. It's a kind of... And that's what you want. Boil that Coke out. Let it dry out. It's a getting bigger. Mama might get a taste it tonight tell y'all what it tastes like. I may wait till tomorrow and let it all be special tomorrow for the fourth. I'm not going to eat tonight because it's it takes away from the fourth. It takes away from the fourth. And it's eight o'clock. Who can be oh, yeah. eight o'clock? I sure don't. I didn't realize it's that late. I sure don't want none. Well, we piddled around here all late and I got in late and you was. What was you doing when I came in? Cutting up watermelon. Cutting up watermelon. And um, making sweet tea. Oh, yeah. And what's that over there? Well, I'm making decaffeinated sweet tea with sugar. And sweet tea. And then that one's going to be decaffeinated and sweet. Right. And that you all's picture sitting there is going to be the my peach, peach tea. tea. I figure for the fourth, we have to have some we tea. we got to have tea. And if I'm going to be off work tomorrow, which I am, there'll be it's some tea consumed. It'll be, now I'm not one to be bashful. It'll be a cup of coffee in one hand and a glass of ice cold sweet tea in the other. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> I don't care. I like them both. I enjoy them he both. He started out to work the other day and he had... Three containers. I had y'all's peach tea. Coffee. Coffee. And water. And water. Ice water. <laughs> they were in spill proof I containers. I see what you going after thirst to death. <laughs> well, I mean, I like to sip on the sweet tea and I like to eat it nice to lunch and it's delicious. So I don't have to order anything for lunch. I can save a little money. And of course I'm going to take coffee. And then, both of coffee and tea is a little bit diuretic. diuretic, you know, it'll, you need to rehydrate, so I feel obligated to take some water. <laughs> so you got it all going. Yeah. Can y'all hear that? It's a bull. It's a bull and all that steam, all that coke 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 was are coming out of there. It's giving me a facial, it's coming out of there. That's what keeps mama so young, if you're wondering, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies out there and gentlemen, it's cooking. It keeps Mama so young because she gets a daily facial. Steam bath. So what are y'all doing for 4th of July? What are y'all eating for 4th of July? We had ribs last week. Week before last, when did we fix some ribs? We've had all before those things. Right before. We've had all them goodies. But tomorrow, we, we this is not just a... This is the first... Time we've just stuck to the plain basics. We decide this ain't just like it, we're too lazy to cook tomorrow. We decided this last week we're just gonna keep it simple: hot dogs, chili, some macaroni salad. Not even gonna make potato salad, are we? I don't think so. Unless you just have I don't have to have it because we just had it the other day. Um, 
some baked beans, some good food. Yeah. Uh, and that's one reason I wanted and to do that. we're not even going to fix hamburgers this year. Well, either. we just had hamburgers. I know it. That's one reason I want to do that redo from a 4th of July a few years back. Because we had ribs that day and potatoes, all those different things. And I thought, we're not going to cook ribs and stuff this year. That's our usual 4th of July, is some good ribs. Um, but we've had them quite often. We Usually we didn't fix them every little whip stitch. But I got them on sale. And when I did, I got like eight of them. Put them in the freezer. And every once in a while I said, we need to eat some of the ribs. So I make room for something else. Our little save lot had them on sale. I mean... Like what half what you would normally pay for them, and so Good typical thing. fashion, I stopped up. Mama, you are out of the picture. Oh, I lean in the wrong way. What? Lean all in, Mama. Lean in the wrong way. Have y'all come up for something for us to cook beyond the fork? What's something you like to see? Crock pot meal? Uh, do you like chicken? Uh, do you like uh, uh, what else? Do you like uh, casserole? Uh, yeah, casserole. 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 Yeah, Desserts. Mama would love. Desserts. Now we can't do too many desserts, but we can do a few. We can do as many as we want. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> uh, have y'all froze up on us? Come on back. Yeah, you froze up I don't think I did that time. Hello from Delaware. Hey, D from Delaware. Hey, Margaret. Fish, Sarah, I love fish, and we will make some. I'm wanting to make some battered dipped fried fish. Kind of like, I want them to kind of be like Long John Silver's. Now, Mama will eat that, but like, Mama is strange. She won't eat any kind of shellfish. She don't want, she'll eat tuna out of a can, you know, on a tuna salad. But don't put it in macaroni and call it tuna baked. She don't really want any hot fish except for catfish or whiting or cod or tilapia. She'll eat those. She don't even think she likes tilapia, but I've squeezed a few pieces in on her and she's okay with it. Uh, so I would like to do some fish. I like shrimp and pasta dishes. She wouldn't. Maybe I can work in a shrimp and pasta dish the next time she goes on one of her extended stays. Uh, your sweet little mama can like, come back here. Sure could. Just love watching her. Uh, Deanna, thank you for saying that. And she sure can. <laughs> she is a beautiful cook. She does a wonderful job for Louisiana. So we eat gumbo. Uh, I love gumbo and I love the seafood gumbo. When we go to the ocean, I'm going to eat as much fresh seafood as I can get a hold of. I want it every night. So we have to find somewhere that has good tenders, chicken tenders. Or steak. Or steak for Mama. So we try to make it, find something that she can eat good. I don't like tilapia, cod, and had are better. Oh, yeah. Cod is mama's favorite, or whitey. Uh, New York, what are you in New York? Come down here. Come back down here for a minute, Patricia. Love watching you and mama. Oh, well, thank you, Patricia. We love having y'all. And, you know, people will say, do y'all get nervous? Or do We don't. We probably should get more nervous. Maybe we wouldn't talk as much. <laughs> But to us, it's just like you're sitting across the table from us. It's just like you're any co any uh, company that we would have would sit right there where you're sitting, uh, and we would chat and have supper and just talk up a storm. Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's good. It's good. Now, don't if you you think well, they are starving themselves to death. We're not. There is enough right here. Or four or five hot dogs, and we'll probably only eat two. In fact, I bought five the other day when we went to uh, Riverside Produce, and we found two of them in the refrigerator last night. So, you know, that's what you want. It's dry, 
it, there's no grease floating in there. I would like to be able to tilt that. Maybe I'll do a flyover. You were gonna make there's no see. grease floating in there. Flyover, make them see. And that's what you're looking for for hot dog chili. Now I want the opposite of this for bowl chili. I want it full of good beans and juice. And I want it just bubbling with juice. Because I love that the best. A lot of people yeah. like dry, but we don't. We like it good juicy, and juicy. juicy. But now in hot dog chili, it's totally the opposite. And we don't even put the same things in our hot dog chili as we do our bowl chili. Mm -hmm. Well, that's off, but it's still hot. It's going to take a second to cool down. And we're going to put that up. And we're not eating it tonight. No, too late. Too late. Too late. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to save that for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll show you the same old coleslaw that I've been making the whole time with y'all. Uh, and Mama's macaroni salad. Are you just going to do your macaroni salad? Or are we yeah, gonna do just some, a little bit. Maybe some frozen peas and it would be good this time. Or mm. if you want to doctor it up a little bit. We'll think about that. Which is a no. Is, <laughs> no, we'll think about it. <laughs> she's done thought about it. And she's done saying... I've got some frozen peas. She's it. done saying, we ain't done that mess, John. <laughs> Looks yummy. Thank you, Howard. It will be good. And it'll be even better tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'll be the taste tester. Wendy, I sure wish you could. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to discredit science. I, who would have thought we would have computers right here in our pockets? 10 or 15 years from now, we might be able to taste through the phone. We've been talking about it for years. I wish there was taste division. Who knows? They could come up with it. In fact, that would be worthwhile. Smell vision, taste vision. Mm. I can see them coming up with it. Yeah, it's probably in the works right now. Sure is. <laughs> Folks, we hope you all have a blessed and joyous 4th of July. Um, it's a wonderful country we live in and we need to celebrate it. And you know, while we're celebrating it, we need to think about our veterans who made it possible. Oh, yeah. And fly our colors, be proud of that red, white, and blue, and you know, just it's something to celebrate. I love Fourth of July. Fourth of July is probably my second favorite holiday, behind. Did you guess it? Somebody tell me what my favorite holiday is. Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving. You love to eat. <laughs> I guessed them all. I'm loving some homemade chili. It looks delicious. And they guessed your holiday? Yet? I don't know, I was waiting to see. Oh. Good evening, Mama John. Hey, Linda. Hey. Good night, all. Hey, Doreen, you have a good night. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It has been for years. Um, of course, when I was a child, Christmas was the best. I love Christmas. Love Christmas. Uh, love the decorations and all that. And um, Mama makes it so festive and fun. But to me, there's just something always has been special about Thanksgiving. Getting the family around, gathering around the table, and being thankful. Oh, I love yeah. it. And I love the prep, and I love the smells. I love the smell of the butter and the sage and the onions with the cornbread dressing. I love that beautiful turkey. Uh, when it can, I love everything about Thanksgiving. And I love that we don't batch of the presents and all that. It's just about the togetherness. And I love that part. I always have enjoyed that part. I love Easter pretty much for the same reason. Uh, my favorite thing is to see all the children running and playing in the green, green grass at church and their beautiful little outfits trying to find them precious legs. Uh, I get Never pictures. Over top of to go get <laughs> I get pictures every year. I, I shared some pictures the other day of some little babies that had been playing and swinging and hunting Easter eggs. And now they are teenagers, oh. grown, could not care less about an egg hunt. But they were so excited that day. And I've often said, if we could just bottle that enthusiasm on Easter and there are little happy faces and how excited they are. Um, and you could just take a little bit of every day. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, yeah. Oh, folks, we're going to have some good chili tomorrow. We'll get some hot dogs. We'll grill them. Probably in the macro program because it's going to be hot. I don't think I'm going outside with that mess. I tried sitting out there a little while today. It's hot. We're in the south. It got uh, 
I got awful nuggy on me. It's right after uh, the rain, and I felt kind of nauseous. It was so hot and nuggy. We're in the south, people. Well, you need to stay in the south, anywhere around the ice to June to the second, third <laughs> November. Thank you. And then the sun breaks me out. Then I look at my hands. See? It's kind of a little tainted looking. But that'll clear up too. But We've uh, had nothing but rain. So. We've had nothing but rain. But just a little bit of sun and I'm all broke out. And it's not a pretty, and it don't tan pretty. It just, yeah, sun and I don't get along. <laughs> Mama, you going to taste this chili? No, I'll let you taste it. It's too late for me. Though. It's too late for her to taste it. I ain't going to taste it. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Taste it tomorrow. It'll be it good. It smells wonderful. That's it smells good. It, it can't tastes be as high as good as it smells. It can't, can't be anything but good, can it, Mom? No. We'll let you see it one more time. That's what we're looking at. Homemade hot dog chili. Let me read it to you one more time. I'm not going to go into the detail about the amounts. Just know that I'm not going to give you amounts. You base your amounts on base. This was a half a pound. So just double it, triple it, whatever we've done today. So for the hot dog chili, here are just the ingredients list. It's hamburger or ground chuck, the 80-20. You boil however much you want to in some coffee, just like you would water, but substitute pre-brewed coffee. And this is something you left over from lunch coffee or breakfast coffee. Last time you made coffee that day, be fine. Use 16 ounces. You're just going to have to wait till it boils out. So you don't want to use too much. Just enough. I use about 10 ounces today. You want onion finely chopped, tomato paste, Greek seasoning, beef bouillon cubes, salt and pepper to taste, lemon pepper to taste, onion powder, minced garlic. If you're not allergic to garlic powder, use you some garlic powder if you want to. We In uh, chili powder, we use... Um, this right here, Maxine's, because Papa used that. And at the end, after you've drained your grease off, put you a Coca-Cola in it, or whatever amount of Coke you requires for your amount. Um, we substitute y'all's Southern Secret for onion powder, onion, garlic powder, and the lemon pepper. So that was our little substitution. Uh, and I did put minced garlic in it. Right here, I need to order some more. Pick up some more. And that's it. And then add the Coca-Cola. It's easy. It's simple. Uh, and you've seen how we did it. You want to cook it dry. Cook it, you know, not burn it. But, I mean, you can see there's no liquid. It's just ready for hot dogs. And you want it to be good and firm like that so it'll stay on a hot dog. If you cook it long enough and you boil it down, you don't have to add anything. But if you're impatient, you can put a little bit of flour in it. Self-fries them. It don't matter. It's just going to absorb that grease straight in. You'll never know what's in there. It'll just And you thicken. can also add uh, potato flakes. Uh, potato flakes or refried beans. We'll thicken refried it and beans. give you more. If you don't have refried beans, get you a can mash of Lux pinto, pinto beans. Mash them. And mash them up. Mm -hmm. For hot dog chili. So all those little thickening things helps. Mm -hmm. um, and you can, like somebody said, you can absorb the grease with light bread. Light bread. If you don't want to waste your light bread, you can just put a paper towel in that, press it down on it, and then it'll come right back up. Put in the refrigerator. If there's any grease, it'll it'll come to the top. There shouldn't be any tomorrow. But now, when you get ready to hit, reheat, it's going to be hard. The chili's going to be firm. You're going to think, I need to add some water. Don't do it. Let it heat on its when own. When heat hits it, it'll start softening. Because this will all be thick, thick when it gets cold. But in the morning. When I put it in there to heat it back up, it'll come right back to the way it is now. Y'all have a blessed day yes. and have a wonderful 4th of July. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow with a couple more dishes yeah. and uh, we'll enjoy the 4th together for a few minutes anyway. Just everybody be as safe as you can on the highways and far crackers or far works, whatever you call them. I always call them all far crackers. Far crackers. <laughs> So uh, just be extra, extra careful and watch after your children. And your fur babies. Mm, yeah. They and don't fur, like it at all. And fur babies don't care nothing about that mess. And um, 
They're going to run. Mikey's going to be all upset tomorrow night. Mikey's been upset for a week because we've had some boom booms in the neighborhood. And you have to time it just right and hope she gets out and back takes care of her paperwork and gets back in. Because <laughs> if she don't, she ain't going back out for another until she forgets about it. Yeah. Makes it a little complicated, but we work <laughs> through it. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. And God bless you. So, bye bye. Bye, y'all.